Good afternoon, Manda. Myself, Ramya. I am studying chemistry second year in the stream of physics. Today, we are going to discuss about some views on space wave propagation. Uh, first of all, we will learn about definition of space wave propagation. It is defined as the radio waves that occur within the 20 kilometers of the atmosphere. This is called space wave propagation. And it is also known as atmos uh, tropospheric uh, propagation. We have, uh, in our atm atmosphere, we have five layers of uh, uh, atmosphere that is the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere and ex exosphere. Uh, from our earth, uh, about 20 kilometers, that is the troposphere. Uh, in that troposphere, uh, we have space wave propagation. Uh, in the, the propagation is directly from the earth surface to troposphere surface to the earth and it is effectively used for frequencies uh, uh, more than 30, uh, 30 kilo megahertz more than the 30 megahertz due to this the higher frequency uh, wavelength is very narrow and that results propagation of wave is very striking path Example, uh, due to, uh, due, we know that due to higher frequency, the frequency wave is very close to near. So that's why wavelength is very close to near. The transmitter to the receiver where the propagation is a straight line path. Straight line bus. Hence, these waves are used for LOS. LOS means light of sight. Uh, by uh, two ways that is 
direct wave traveling from transmitted wave to receiver along the tr path that wave is called as free space wave propagation by the means of a uh, transmitted wave is a travel from directly travel from receiver transmitted to receiver that is called uh, along the tr path that is called space uh, free path uh, free space wave propagation this is called free space wave propagation